Welcome to Northern Lights over Arkham. I'm JP and this time I'm testing the brand new hero Hulk. And I will be playing against uh, standard Rhino. Uh, I'm using the uh, pre-built aggression deck that comes with Hulk. So that is why I thought that because uh, Hulk is a brand new hero uh, and I haven't played it uh, previously so I'll just start from the basics and try it against Rhino first. Uh, I may play against uh, Claw and Ultron later with the standard deck or start uh, doing deck buildings and trying out different aspects with Hulk and trying expert modes after this one but this will be my first play of Hulk so Hope you enjoy seeing Hulk uh, in action, so let's get started. If you like my content, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. So I have uh, pre-shuffled the deck, so let's draw our opening hand. Uh, Bruce Banner has a hand size of 5. And let's draw 5 cards and see what we get. So we get to the rescue. I'll uh, quickly look at the new cards because the, I haven't really paid attention to the spoilers. So uh, this is also a first look, so to speak. So uh, two cost event uh, to the rescue. Hero action, board, remove two threat from machine. Uh, not good at the start, maybe better later. Uh, crushing blow. You can only spend uh, strength resources to pay for this card. Hero action, attack deal damage to the enemy equal to your attack. Uh, unstoppable force, two cost event, ready Hulk. If you paid uh, for this card using only one, only strength resources, draw one card. So that's a keeper. Uh, strength is a keeper. Toe to toe, mm, hero action, attack, choose an enemy. That enemy attacks you, deal 5 damage to that enemy. Well, that sounds good. So I think I'll just uh, mulligan the one card. So we get another toe to toe. So I think we'll start uh, smashing right away. So uh, nothing to build. So we just uh, flip to Hulk. Let's see how we do it. Uh, these are mental resources, so I think we... Hmm. Well, this is a tough choice. I think uh, we can't really play the crushing blow, but... Well, let's see what happens. So, uh, Hulk attacks for 3. Then uh, we use Unstoppable Force, we pay it with uh, Strength. Uh, we uh, ready up and we draw a card and we get Thunderclap. Well, we got uh, one uh, Strength resource to use, so I'll use Thunderclap to play Crushing Blow. So we deal uh, Hulk's attack to the villain. So, three more damage. Well, <laughs> I think this will be a really short game by the looks of it. And we'll attack again with Hulk. Then I will use toe to toe. I'll pay it with toe to toe. So I'll choose. Uh, I choose Rhino. Rhino attacks. Uh, Rhino attacks for two plus uh, one. So 3 damage to Hulk, but we'll deal 5 damage back, so <laughs> uh, that's uh, really impressive, so mm, Rhino Stage 1 is already defeated. Uh, we'll search for breaking and taking, well it was at the bottom for some reason, and we'll put it into play. It has uh, three threat on it, and that is our hero phase. Uh, we ready up. We draw back up 
four, so Hulk has only four uh, cars in hero mode. And there's also in raids, force interrupt when your turn ends, discard your hand. So usually I try to play my whole hand, but with Hulk you can't save cards. And yeah, so we get Avengers Mansion, uh, Suborbital Leap, Helicarrier, and Energy. So I think uh, nothing major to do. Maybe we'll just uh, use the suborbital leap to clear off the breaking and taking next turn. Well, we'll see what happens. So, uh, villain phase, we add one threat here. Uh, rhino attacks, we won't defend. And rhino attacks got 3 damage plus 1. So, 4 damage. Well, at at least Rhino is punching back. Oh yeah, we need to fill up uh, Rhino's health also. And the funny part is that <laughs> Hulk begins the uh, match with 18 hit points and Rhino only with 14. But of course Rhino has the second phase. Uh, the first encounter card is... And actually, because of breaking and taking, we get the second one. Uh, the first one is... Uh, enhanced Ivory Horn, just put it into play and Assault, so Rhino attacks again, uh, we won't defend, Rhino hits us for 3 damage. Okay, so Hulk is taking a beating, but let's see if we can dish out a bit more on the next round. So, that is the villain phase, let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, let's see. Uh, I think this turn uh, we'll use the Avengers Mansion and Energy uh, to play Suborbital Leap uh, to get rid of the breaking and taking. So, uh, Suborbital Leap is Hero Action 4. Remove 3 threat from a Shim fight threat instead if you paid for this card only using strength resources, but uh, we didn't use only strength resources, so luckily that's enough. Mm. I think Hulk will just uh, hit for 3 damage, and because our turn ends, we have to discard our hand and draw back up to 4. Uh, we get Brawn, it's a new ally, a 3 cost ally with uh, 1 board and 1 attack. Uh, champion Gamma, 5 health, uh, response after prone attacks, remove 1 threat from a sheen. So this is actually quite good for Hulk. Then we get uh, to the rescue again. And power of aggression and drop kick. So uh, drop kick is a uh, hero action. Uh, well, it's a 3 cost event with hero action attack, deal 4 damage to an enemy if you paid for this card using only strength resources, stun that enemy and draw a card. So that's also quite powerful. Uh, yeah, so that is the hero phase, let's go to the villain phase, we add one threat, uh, rhino attacks, so it's 4 plus, I won't defend, by the way, so 4 plus uh, 0, uh, we'll take 4 damage. Uh, we are down to 4. I think we need to go next after next turn to Bruce Banner mode and heal up and encounter card for this turn is a Hydro Mercenary, so we need to definitely kill that off. Okay, so that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, let's see what we can do this turn. I think Hulk will clear off the Hydra Mercenary. Uh, Brawn could then uh, attack Rhino and remove one threat from the main machine. And I think that's our turn. So, or actually, I think we'll just uh, try to aggro so we can stun a Rhino with the drop kick by using only strength resources so brawn won't be played so hulk will hit 
the mercenary down. I will uh, play drop kick. I'll use power of aggression and to the rescue. So I paid with only strength resources. So I draw a card. I get another drop kick. That doesn't help, but we deal uh, four damage to Rhino and we'll stun Rhino. Then uh, I think that is our turn. Uh, we have to discard our hand. We draw back up four. So uh, this is a bit. I think this is a bit too risky. So let's back up a bit. I will flip to Bruce Banner. Uh, ready up. And actually. Should I use the ability on Bruce Banner before I end my turn? What we won't have time to play Brawn, so I'll discard and draw. So we get the power of aggression, that's really good. And then we ready up and draw back up to 5. We get uh, you pay for that, unstoppable force, and you pay for that. And let's see, uh, the you'll pay for that is a new one, uh, so it's a one cost event. Uh, hero response board, after the villain attacks you, remove one threat from a shield for each damage you took from that attack, up to maximum of five. Uh, so that isn't really helpful because we have to discard both of them. But yeah, let's go to the villain phase. Uh, we add one threat. Uh, Rhino Sheems for one plus two. Oh no, well, we're really close. Uh, so we're at six threat. And let's see what we get. Uh, we get Sandman, so luckily we didn't spread out there. And uh, yeah, that's the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. So, uh, because Sandman hits for quite a lot, I think we'll just heal and flip and ignore Sandman and try to beat down Rhino. Uh, we also... Well, the problem is that we'll lose if we don't get any threat removal. So, we have to think if we can defeat Rhino before the next villain phase. Uh, we could play Dropkick, it's 4 damage, and uh, then we'll deal 3 with Bruce Ban uh, with uh, Hulk, so uh, we unfortunately don't have the cards to do that, so I'll use uh, Bruce Banner's ability, uh, we draw 1 and discard 1. Okay. Uh, Let's uh, rethink this. Uh, we can remove 5 threat with the uh, sub or the leap. And we'll have to use only strength resources, so we could use those for that. Then uh, we can... Well, these are useless, but uh, what can I do? I'll, I'll heal. Uh, we, we can't uh, defeat. Rhino this turn, so I'll heal for 4. And we'll flip. Then I will use up Orbital Leap. I'll pay it with Unstoppable Force, actually. I'll pay it with uh, Power of Aggression and Drop Kick. Uh, we remove 5 threat because we only use strength resources. Just uh, checking, so we unfortunately don't draw a card with this one event. And that is our turn. Ready up, discard our hand, draw back up to 4. Uh, we get immovable object, you get plus 4. 
points. Uh, Hulk gains one uh, retaliate one. Well, this is a good card. Another you pay for that. Uh, we got another uh, new ally sentry. Uh, Robert Reynolds. So uh, sentry is four cost ally. Uh, Vote for two. Attack for three. Force response after sentry enters play under your control. Deal yourself one encounter card. Okay. That's interesting. And then we have a boundless rage. Uh, hero form only. Hulk gets plus one attack. Force response after you change form. Discard, discard. Okay. So that's the hero phase. Uh, we go to the villain phase and a Rhino at, uh, adds one threat to the main team. Rhino tries to attack, but it's stunned. Uh, Sandman attacks and deals. Uh, actually, this turn I will defend, so we ignore the damage. Uh, yeah, let's not uh, remove that. I think we are doing some setup next turn. So, yeah, that's the uh, encounter card time, so we get Shocker. Shocker deals uh, one damage. And that is the villain phase, so we go to the next hero phase. Okay, let's see what we can do here. So, uh, I think... We could play Sentry, but that's... Uh, uh, we don't have the resources to play. It's uh, I think we'll play the uh, immovable object down, so we gain uh, four health, and <laughs> that is our whole turn. Uh, we ready up. We draw back up to. Uh, we draw back up to four. Uh, we get Hulk Smash, then we get Thunderclap, uh, She-Hulk, and we get Limitless Strength. So Limitless Strength is a resource card with three uh, strength icons, and uh, it can be only used in a hero form. We get She-Hulk, so She-Hulk is another new ally. She-Hulk is a four cost ally with two port and one attack. Uh, but uh, when thwarting, She-Hulk takes two consequential damage, and when attacking, uh, She-Hulk gets plus one attack for each damage token here. So the more wounded She-Hulk is, the harder she starts hitting. Then we have Thunderclap. Uh, choose up to three different enemies, deal three damage to each of them. That is quite nice. And Hulk Smash, uh, free cost event, uh, hero interrupt. When you make a basic attack, you get plus 10 attack for that attack. If you paid for this card using only strength resources, that attack gains overkill. Okay. So I think we'll just, uh, if we survive, we are just Hulk Smashing. And yeah, let's go to the villain phase. We add one threat. Rhino attacks. Uh, I won't defend. Uh, so four plus three, uh, seven damage. That is quite a lot. And I'll opt to then take damage from the shocker. I'll take two. And unfortunately, we have to defend against Sandman, so we don't take damage from Sandman. But also, let's not forget, uh, we have Retaliate, so Sandman loses. Uh, tough. Shocker gains one damage, and Rhino takes one damage. And that is the villain phase. No, it's not. Uh, we are still need to the encounter card and it is unfortunately this gang up which will kill us so rhino attacks 
four uh, four damage takes one damage from. Well, actually, it doesn't even take uh, damage from retaliate. So uh, <laughs> we unfortunately lost to Ganga, uh, but that was a fun, uh, really fast game. So I think I'll just reset and try Hulk again because this was quite fun actually. I'm not that uh, keen on playing aggression, but with Hulk and these new cards, it really uh, feels feels nice to play aggression for once. So yeah, I'll set up again and we'll try Rhino in standard mode with Hulk again. So I'll be right back. Okay, uh, I still need to refill Hulk's health. But we are uh, we are ready to try again. So let's draw our opening hand of five cards. Let's see how this goes. So let's put Rhino to phase one. So uh, our starting hand is immovable object. I think I'll set up that and play right away. And then we have She-Hulk, Boundless Rage, Strength and Power of Aggression. Uh, we'll keep these. But I think we don't have... Well, uh, hmm. I think we could... Actually, we could play She-Hulk. Then uh, I think I'll discard that and draw now one so we get the crushing blow and yeah I think we'll just uh, play She-Hulk clip and crushing blow okay that uh, seems like a good plan so let's uh, play down She-Hulk I'll use the power of aggression and strength then I will flip I will it for three. I will uh, use movable object and crushing blow. So I deal another three damage here. Then She Hulk will hit for one. Take one consequential damage and we ready up. We go back up to four, we get the sentry, limitless strength, uh, martial prowess and avengers mansion. So uh, martial prowess is an upgrade, a two cost upgrade, uh, play under any player's control, max one per player, resource, exhaust martial prowess, generate a strength resource for an attack event. So this really works well with Hulk because Hulk's hand size is quite small. Uh, we go to the villain phase, we add one threat here. Rhino attacks, I won't defend, so Hulk will take the damage. So Hulk takes uh, three damage. Encounter card is uh, Bomb Scare. Uh, place one additional threat here per player, and we get an acceleration. Open. So there's three here. Uh, at the moment we don't have any cars to deal with that, but let's see what we can do next hero phase. Mm, okay. I think uh, we'll we play down sentry. So I will uh, use limitless strength and Avengers Mansion, lay down sentry, uh, we deal ourselves one encounter card, so it flips only in the uh, villain phase, and I think we could uh, rush down Rhino, so three, five, 
Yeah. Okay, so uh, sentry attacks for three damage. Hulk attacks for two damage, and Hulk attacks for three damage. So we will flip Rhino. Let's just see if we can uh, rush down. I'll just discard that now so I don't forget. So Rhino has uh, 15 health. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, there was a small studio setup malfunction, so my uh, game burst and fell over. But uh, yeah, uh, back to the uh, advancement of uh, Rhino. So we are at phase two. Uh, Rhino has 15 health. We put the breaking and taking into play. And then uh, that is our hero phase. Uh, we're ready up. We draw back up. To four, and we get crushing blow to pay for that. Hulk smash and support the leap. So now we have a good ways to get uh, rid of some of the threats. So I think that will be our uh, villain phase uh, with the you pay for that, and next turn maybe with. Well, I, uh, I have to see what we can do. Maybe we try to play... Well, we don't have resources there, but yeah, let's see. Uh, we add two threat to the main team. Then uh, Rhino attacks. I won't defend with Hulk. Rhino hits for 5 damage. And then uh, I'll... You'll pay, uh, you'll pay for that, and I'll play it with uh, Hulk Smash. After the villain attacks, you remove one threat from Ashim for each damage you took from that attack to the maximum of five. So I think we'll get rid of uh, breaking and taking, because now we don't have to deal the extra encounter card. And that is. Uh, yeah, so we get a counter card, and this was from a playing sentry. Stampede, uh, Rhino attacks you if a character is uh, damaged by this attack. You are stunned. Uh, do I mind being stunned with Hulk? I think I'll value keeping my allies. For now, so I'll take the damage with Hulk, but uh, yeah, I'll just take the damage with Hulk. So 3 plus 1 is 4, and we are stunned. Second one is Inner Demons. Okay, so let's look at the Hulk obligation. Uh, so it's uh, give to Bruce Banner player, change form with your identity. So I have to do it, I have don't have an option. If you are Bruce Banner, discard two cards from your hand, discard this obligation. So we discard it and we discard two cards from hand. So that is quite painful. Mm. And yeah, that's the villain phase. Uh, let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, so <laughs> this will be quite a slow turn. Uh, I think I'll just heal. So I'm back to 10 health, and I think uh, Sentry and She-Hulk keep on hitting Rhino, so I'll hit for uh, 3 damage with She-Hulk. Sentry hits for 3 damage. And I think we need to flip. So we ready up. 
we draw back up to 4, we get limitless strength, drop kick, banners laboratory and throw the dog. So uh, we haven't seen banners laboratory yet, so it's 2 cost support. Location, Bruce Banner gets plus 2 regeneration. Uh, or recovery actually. Uh, alter eco resource, exhaust banners, laboratory, generate a mental resource. Okay, well, I think that's better maybe when playing in other aspects, but yeah. Uh, let's go to villain phase. Uh, we are at, we are two threats, so we're at five. Uh, Rhino attacks. I will take it with Hulk, so we take uh, four damage Hulk. And encounter card is uh, crowd control. So that's two threat. Uh, we can't remove threat from the main sheen before that is uh, removed. So that is the villain phase. Let's see if we can uh, defeat Rhino in the next hero phase. I think uh, because there's only nine health left on Rhino, we can uh, defeat Rhino this turn. So Hulk attacks, remove the stun. And then uh, I'll use Limitless Strength to play Dropkick. So we deal 4 damage and also uh, we stun the enemy because we only use Strength resources. So 4 damage, stunned and we draw a card. Uh, then. Now I'm not sure if I can play this toe to toe because Rhino attacks me, but the attack is cancelled, so does the rest of this trigger. Well, I'm not playing it now because I can defeat the Rhino uh, with the allies I have, so I won't uh, do the toe to toe, but I will uh, try to see from the forums how that works for future reference. So, Sentry will hit for 3 damage. And then She-Hulk hits for 4 damage and Rhino is defeated. And so She-Hulk is defeated in the process. Okay, so uh, <laughs> Hulk is definitely a different piece to play than some of the other uh, new heroes like for example uh, Doctor Strange or uh, Black Widow. I think I'm not quite sure on Hulk's solo playing capabilities yet after these two games but still I really enjoyed playing against the standard villains with Hulk. <laughs> the matches weren't uh, overly easy, but this second one went through quite easily. But yeah, I will definitely be playing Hulk a lot uh, in my upcoming videos with possibly different aspects and trying them out and seeing how I can play Hulk in uh, different aspects than aggression. Yeah, that was Hulk uh, first play. Thanks for watching and until next time.